There were people of all ages gathered around the gable wall, poor and humble men and women, little children that you called. We are gathered here. And our hearts are just the same, filled with joy and such a vision as we praise your Shine her light on every one. Yes, the Lamb will conquer, and the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on every one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you, wherever you are, to this special Mass here in Kilmictide Cemetery. It's different this year. Usually we have the big crowd, but this year, of course, because of the virus, we have only just the committee and myself. But you're very, very welcome wherever you tune in from. We remember all the people buried here and all our loved ones and all the people that shared our lives and our faith and our laughter with us. And so, as always, we stand before the Lord. He is in our midst. And we hear today his great promise for our loved ones that he is taking care of them. And so, as always, we stand and ask to be forgiven for all our sins and failings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins and our failings, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, Almighty Father, our faith testifies that your Son, Jesus, died for us and rose to life again. May all our relatives and all the people we remember so fondly today here in this cemetery and throughout our world, may they all share in this great mystery. And as they, as they have gone to their rest, believing in Jesus, may they now come through him to the joy of the resurrection. This we ask through Christ who triumphed over death and lives and reigns forever and ever. And the first reading today is a reading from the Old Testament. It's from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. 
that day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Do not abandon or forsake us, O God, our help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me shall never suffer death. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus then said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the Gospel of the Lord. Well, that's a beautiful, consoling Gospel. Jesus knew that when we lose a loved one, that indeed our hearts are troubled and our whole beings are troubled. And so he told us not to worry that he would take care of them. Their physical lives, bodies have worn out, but their spirit, their soul, is with the Lord. And that's what's free and no doubt with us this evening. And so we now turn and pray with confidence of that promise of Jesus for all our needs and our intentions. And we pray for all our deceased family members, all our relatives, all friends, neighbors, all who are good to us and close to us, that the Lord in his goodness welcome them and reward them for all their kindness and goodness. Lord, hear us. In thanksgiving, for the precious memories we have of our loved ones, for their goodness and help, for the joy and laughter they brought into our lives, in thanksgiving, Lord, hear us. And for all those who are buried in the old cemetery, for those who are buried in the Banner Cemetery, and also those in Rue, and the graveyards throughout the world, so many people from Kilmig Tig, that they may all enjoy the light of heaven and the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for those at this moment who are suffering and dying, especially those that are suffering from the COVID-19 virus, 
that the Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, may bring them unending consolation and give joy to those who have been called home. Lord, hear us. Lord, and let us pray for ourselves as we join in this special Mass, that we may be gathered again one day with our loved ones in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. And let us now pause for a moment in the silence of our hearts for any other personal and family intention and include those loved ones that we need to remember at this Mass. And for all these, our needs and intentions this afternoon, but especially for all who need our prayers, for our world and for peace and help and reconciliation in our world and in our families and homes, Lord, hear us. And Lord our God, listen to these, our prayers. May you support us all the day long till the shadows lengthen and evening falls and the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, in your great mercy, Lord, grant to us all a safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at last. We ask this again through Christ our Lord. Your Take her all that joy and rejoin. Let's sing our hearts for soil. Take all we start and spoil. Each hopeful dream. The chances we have missed. The graces we resist. Lord, in the Eucharist, take and redeem. Now we come to the second part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist, where we offer the bread and wine, and as they become the body and blood of Jesus. And so, with faith and trust, we say, Blessed are you, Lord. God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. And with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. And Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray now, my friends, that this our Mass and all our intentions and prayers this day, that they all may be acceptable before God, our almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, receive our gifts that we offer for the salvation of all our loved ones that we remember so fondly. May Christ be merciful in judging them, for they believed in Christ as their Lord and Savior. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is Father all-powerful and an ever-living God. We do always everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him who rose from the dead, our hope of resurrection dawned. The sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. And when, our body of, when the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. And so now with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we too proclaim your glory as we join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving you thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we now offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop-elect, all the bishops, clergy, religious, and all your faithful people. And remember also, Lord, all our brothers and sisters, family members, dear ones, whom we finally remember and recall today, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us gathered here in faith, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Patrick, um, and all the saints, our patron saints, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins and failings, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. With and again, wherever you are, I pray that the peace of God may be in your hearts, in your homes, and in our world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, from the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death brought life to the world, free us by this most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep, keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who has taken away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. The bells of the angels call it to pray with sweet tones announcing the sacred of Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In Magdalene, Mary, our hearts are all thine. With Thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 
The eternal rest grants them, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we entrust our loved ones to your mercy this day. You love them greatly in this life. Now that they are freed from all his cares, give them happiness and peace forever. The old order has passed away. Welcome them now into paradise, where there will be no more sorrow, no more weeping or pain, but only peace and joy with Jesus, your Son. And we ask all of these in the name of Jesus, who triumphed over death and lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless each one and all our loved ones and all our futures. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thank you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved See